let's look at exactly psychologically what's happening here. This is called the chameleon effect. You better thank a union member for the five day work week. But you better thank unions for that five day work week. You better thank a union member for sick leave. Thank unions for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. Thank unions for paid family leave. What the hell? In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you exactly why Vice President Harris seems to acquire a new accent depending on who she is speaking to. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Thank unions for your vacation time. So if you're ready, let's get going. First, we need to address the elephant in the room, and that is that Vice President Harris was recently giving a speech at a Labor Day rally in Detroit, Michigan, where she appeared to pick up a new accent. Now, some people online are saying it sounds a little bit like Foghorn Leghorn. You'll have to be the judge of that. Check this out. This is what everyone's talking about. You may not be a union member. You better thank a union member. The first thing that you need to know is this is called mimicking and mirroring. Now we all have mirror neurons in our head and this is why if you are the least bit empathetic, if someone else is crying, you begin to cry. If they tell a story that's passionate, you get passionate with them. If they're stressed out, you get stressed out. But those things are subconscious. You don't even realize you're doing that. This is completely different. So if you're speaking to somebody and they do this, you better thank a union member. You know what they're trying to elicit. So so she assumes this is what this group of people must act like. Therefore, she mimics them. For the five day work week. Now, first of all, the five day work week has been around for about 80 years, but let's not go into that right now. Let's look at exactly psychologically what's happening here. This is called the chameleon effect. And it simply means that depending on who you are around, you will pick up what you perceive to be their ways of speech, manners, postures, behaviors, and the facial expressions of the people that you are around. Now, where it gets really over the top is where you're going to hear her stretch out the words leave and time. You better thank a union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Now, these are reminiscent of Dr. Martin Luther King. If you're familiar with the I Have a Dream speech, these types of stretching out of vowels and these types of elongating of words for dramatic effect will sound very similar. To end the long night of their captivity. But to go back to the chameleon effect, which is exactly what this is, this is done as a way of the person trying to fit in and belong to a specific group that they're trying to appeal to. As I said before, many times when you speak to someone who has a heavy accent, you may, depending on your personality type, pick that up and begin to try to use it. But when you do that subconsciously, you're simply trying to make everyone comfortable. This is completely conscious. This is specifically intentional. So the next time that you see someone trying to affect an accent that's clearly not part of their typical speech, you'll know it is mimicking and mirroring. And it's using a psychological tool called the chameleon effect. All right, guys, if you're still here, do me a favor, click on one of these other videos. I'll be back very soon in the next one. See you then.